So in the last video, we got the bike running, we got it started. It didn't end all that well. God knows what part of the bike this is from, but uh... yo, you could see for that for yourself that the bike was spluttering and stuff. All that crap came out of the exhaust. So basically, I want to continue from that. I want to make sure this bike is running as well as it can be before we start stripping it down. I know some of you are going to be are you going to be quite upset about that, but. I'm sorry, I've got to do this. This is something that this is an important step before we start modifying the bike. Some of you also noticed that I said this. I have bought some upside down forks. Upside down forks. I'm not wrong. All jokes aside, they are not upside down forks. I got a little bit too excited with my words, as always. I always say things wrong, and I'm not the most literal person. Do forgive me, but let's continue. So what we're going to be doing this episode is giving the engine a full service. I've bought oil, I've bought filters, I've bought plugs, uh, and I'm also going to attempt to try and resurrect the battery that we've been having issues with so I don't have to use a jump pack every single time I want to start it. So yeah, this should be a chance for me to learn the bike before I start taking it apart. I do think it's a good idea that I, I get my hands on and understand this bike before it's too late and I have to get some help in, which may be a quite a possibility at some point. But anyway, let's go over what I bought and let's get stuck into it. So yeah, this is like just the basics for a service, spark plugs, oil filter, oil. That's for the battery, but we'll come to that a bit later on. Uh, the only thing I haven't got is an air filter and that's because the one in the bike is actually looking a little bit alright. It's a K&N air filter, uh, made for the bike, but I'm quite happy with it so I'm not worried about changing that. So yeah, let's start with the easy bit and change the plugs. So that is the plugs changed, nice and simple job. Next on the list is going to be the oil. Uh, looking at this bike, I think I'm going to have to remove the exhaust to get to the oil drain plugs, otherwise it's just going to be a real pain to get to. Plus I want to get them off anyway, just so I can have a look inside the runners just to see where all that rubbish was coming from. I've just sprayed some penetrating fluid on the bolts. Um, to get, I'm going to leave them to soak a little bit before we start, but I'm hoping they come off nice and easy. Anyway, it's a good idea because I'm gonna learn this bike. If I can get these bolts free, I know they're free and I don't have to run into them later on. You know, that sort of thing. So this episode's gonna be an episode of learning, pretty much. The maintenance is very important, so I'm kind of glad I'm taking this route rather than getting straight into the custom parts. As much as I love all that stuff, this is the backbone of the bike, so. Right, where is my little socket I just had? Ten mil sockets in my pocket. One more time I'm going to socket. <laughs> Definitely the back box. This is supposedly a Motad type X MXJ6 exhaust, I don't know. All I know, it doesn't look standard to me. It's a, a four to one system. I do kind of like it, but if it's gonna be exhaust, if it's gonna be like that, we're gonna have to do something about it. But I'm gonna put this to one side and we can carry on draining the oil.
That is the engine serviced. That is a new filter, new oil. Look, it looked rank, the old oil did. New spark plugs. Uh, we've taken the exhaust off. I did actually have an issue taking the exhaust off. One of the uh, one of the one of the studs is a bit corroded, and I'm going to have to change them. But I'm probably going to change them all anyway. Whilst I've got the exhaust off, I will be taking the engine guards off because I'm not a huge fan, and yeah, I want to see how it looks with them out. So now we've got all of that wrapped up and we've got those engine bars off, let's move on to the battery. This battery, looking at it, I don't think the cells have enough water in, so hence, hence why I bought that deionized water. So what I'm going to try, just try to do is fill them up to the right levels, as you can see here you've got the maximum and minimum, um, and try and, I'm basically just want to see if that's going to cause my issues with um, with this, I know there were quite the, the volts were fine, um, but there just wasn't enough amp or kick, or whatever you want to call it, to crank the bike over. So hopefully, we can solve that with just a bit of deionized water. We shall see. If it does, yes. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to get myself a new battery. I'm going to get one. I'm going to get a new battery anyway. I'm going to get one of those. I'm going to get one of those smaller dry cell batteries that I can put and hide away somewhere, so we can get that nice clean frame. But until then, I just want a bike running and we're going to try and make use of this. done that and I've given it about eight hours or so charge time um, I'm just gonna try and slip it in but just to make sure that everything's okay I've cleaned all the terminals off on the battery here as well just to make sure nothing's amiss let's just hope this works moment of truth good sign right I'm not gonna fire it up properly if it does fire Simply because we've changed the oil and I want I need to circulate the oil first and check the level before we properly run it. But if it can fire over, I will be so happy. If not, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and find another battery. Fingers crossed. It was worth a shot. So we are back with the jump pack again. I just literally want to get this fired up. I'm going to be ordering a battery soon, but 230 quid with a charger for a, a lithium battery. All being well, it should, it should work with this bike. Better. Cool. So I'm just going to get it, I'm just going to crank it over just to get the oil flow through, through the new filter and so on, and then top the oil up and then we'll get it actually fired. I'll do for now. That started a lot easier than I expected, that, so that's a good sign. Right, let's check the oil level and then we'll get it fired up. So you can see the oil level has dropped. I need to get it to this line here, you can't really see it very well. But look how clean that oil is. Right, so let's check the spark plugs, let's see what they look like, because you could hear it wasn't running the best, because if they're all sooted up we know it's running too rich and it might just need some adjustment, but yeah, let's have a look. That's actually not bad. Hmm. I think we might have got lucky with this. 
seems to be running okay, just the idle. So I think it just needs some idle adjustment. That's all I think it needs. It seems to be really, really smooth. Let, let me show you, let me show you. So you can see what I mean. The idle, it's a little bit lumpy on the idle. So what I'm gonna do is pull the tank off so we can actually access all the screws and try and adjust the idle. Um, I'm not worried about all the crap coming out the exhaust still because that's just all the remnants that's in there because for some reason I can't get it out. The whole exhaust is one, pretty much one piece and I can't take it out to get rid of it. So I'm just hoping it just clears itself out. <sighs> but yeah. This is good, this is positive. Let's crack on. Right, so what I have done is lifted the tank up using a piece of wood so I can get to so I can get to the idle adjustment screws here and along all the carbs. Um, it's gonna be tricky, it's gonna be fiddly, but hopefully doing it this way should be fine. I also noticed this split in the vacuum line that heads to the tank. So I've swapped that out and hopefully that might help as well. So we don't need this anymore. So there we have it guys, I think we got really, really lucky there. The bike seems to be running quite alright. Um, to me that sounds very promising. Um, I do think eventually I will be looking at the carbs when I do strip down the bike properly. But for now, I'm happy, I'm satisfied with how the bike runs. Um, but yeah, so that's what we've got time for this week. I know it's not as uh, interesting as say the front end swap or putting the hoop on, but we will get there. We've got a long road ahead. I'm hoping this bike will be a, a nice winter build. I am so eager to get this bike in a nice state. But anyway guys, as always, I'd much appreciate it if you drop a like on the video. It, it really helps this channel grow. Subscribe if you're new or if you wanna see more. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Peace.